everyone, welcome to R2, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a sky drop game. So, let's, I'm gonna be showing you how this game is actually gonna work. So, first one, who will get 60, 50 points, well, the game ends after you get 50 points. So, well, let's get 50 quickly. So, I'm gonna be showing you many endings, so like, many ways how you can end the uh well game so stay tuned for that so yep when i get to 50 it says the u1 screen and everything stops so well, now we'll be making that so we don't well we don't need to well of course delete the scratch cat as i'll be using it but well you, you can uh have another sprite if you want so take take any backdrop that would be suitable for your game I'll be taking the blue sky and the scratch cat's a bit too big so let's make it smaller and I think it's okay now so for the code of the scratch cat so it's very simple so I'll be making the controls with arrow keys you can well do use WASD or anything. We we don't need side movement and not up and down movement because that's all the game. And if so, if the key left arrow is pressed or the key right arrow is pressed, so these are different if statements. Uh, so when the left arrow is pressed, we change x by minus 6. And when we the right arrow is pressed, we change x by 6. <coughs> so now when we run the program, we can move sideways. So this should be very simple. And you can, if it you have done it correctly, you'll see your scratch cat able to move be moving side to side when you press the left and right arrow keys so now let's uh, make the coin or the the object that you want to drop so i'll be making a coin a yellow coin I can make the dollar sign bigger or just the white, the yellow smaller. So we have nice small coins and center them. You don't need to, but well, I'll do it as it's good to center stuff. And when clicked, uh, we create clones. So we don't actually drop the original sprite, we can just create clones. So forever. Or we'll just repeat 50 times because we're gonna make it till 50. Uh, actually, forever is gonna be more sensible because you're we won't collect all the coins because if we miss some, then we won't get 50. So forever, forever create a clone of myself and wait for 0 0.5 seconds. The the lower the number is, the more coins will be generated every that much number seconds. So when we start as a clone, oops, when we start as a clone, we uh, go set y by 180, set y to 180, so it will be hidden. And actually, we can actually go to a random position. So we'll go to a random position and then hide itself instead of uh, using the random thing. The random, uh, pick random from minus 240 to 240. So this will be a bit more faster. And then we set Y to 180. So it's hidden. And then forever. Change Y 
by minus uh maybe seven or eight and well if it touches the ground which will be the brown place so if it's touching color touching color brown then it's gonna hide itself but if we hide it then the clone will never be deleted so we delete the clone and then we if it's touching the scratch cat we get a point so if it's touching sprite one which is our scratch cat then we delete the clone yeah but we also need to make a coins collected variable And that will be displayed on the top, uh, top left. But you can drag it anywhere you want. It's easily draggable in your while you're making your game. And you can also make it a large readout instead, in case you didn't know. But yeah, and it changes coins collected by one and also in the start we set coins collected zero and well that's it you can add sound effects when it touches the cat as well but i'm not going to be doing that so now when we run the program our coins drop and we can move i think that we can make the cat movement faster so minus 10 and 10 Yep, now it's fine. So let's make the end of the game. So number one end of the game will be when we reach 50. The game is stopped and you win. So let's make a you win sign. You win. Oops. Just make it. And then wall forever if coins collected is equal to 50 then we stop all we display the so broadcast end the game end the game and stop everything so stop all so here when clicked or when clicked we hide it yeah we'll do that and when we receive the end game we show ourselves and well, it will just be displayed here. So let's try out our game. We've collected a few points. Oh yeah, by the way, you see this coin stuck over here? We hide the actual coin. So we'll do that right away. When clicked hide. Actually, we can just put a hide, a hide block over here. Yep and in the when the clone starts we show ourselves i think that's the problem yep uh i'll get to 60 i mean 50 i keep saying 60 for some reason but yeah 50 soon you can add more to the game like upgrades or mysterious coins which go fast but gives you more points or something. I don't know. You can improvise as well but I'll be showing you simple endings. This is one of the endings. First one to get 50 wins. So I think we'll be at 50 at the moment in some time. Takes longer than I expected. Yep. You win and everything stops. So that's one of the endings.
uh other endings can be like uh high score so we'll use the method of high score so it will be unlimited we don't need this blocks and yes the you win thing will not be there as well so you keep going as much as you want and when clicked forever if so well before we do that we make the high score high score and make it a cloud variable so that everybody who plays the game can make the high score if you want a personal high score which only the person who's playing it sets it and doesn't save then yep you can make it non-cloud variable but otherwise you have to make it a cloud variable so i'll display this here because it's a bit annoying to have two variables over here you can't see the coins coming so yeah the code for it is very simple forever if the high score the coins collected is greater than the high score then we set the high score to coins collected so when we run the program we can collect as many coins as we want as you can see so currently the high score is set at uh, 11 and when i uh, run the code again coins collected increases but the high score doesn't increase because well we haven't beat the high score yet so when we beat it it increases again it should increase again yep it does so this will the high score will be there for every person who plays the game if you share it and well that will be another ending for well this has no ending but that will be another way to make your game so well, i guess that's it I only showed you two endings, but you can well make your own. As I said, you can add power-ups or special coins or well just some random stuff that comes out of the ground or kills you or other stuff that make it fun as right now it's pretty boring. So well, that'll be it. And if you found this video helpful, then please like and subscribe and share it to your friends who just started learning scratch as i think it will be very helpful for them as well thanks for watching i'll see you next time